Hey guys, welcome to Learning English with Nefarious Nick. So today we're going to start with、um, a phrase that's it's used quite a bit in the English language. It's very versatile. You can use it for、um, for a lot of situations. So let's just go through it. Be a brief lesson and something you can incorporate into your vocabulary and show off to your friends and family. So the phrase is "You're a fat bitch." You're a fat bitch. So the first word in this phrase is "your," which is a contraction. It's a combination of the words "you" and "are." And I chose to use the contracted version of these two words because usually, when this phrase is uttered by native English speakers, they use "your" instead of "you are a fat bitch." It's "you're a fat bitch." So the second word is a, and that's just one letter, one sound. A、It、can also be a, e. The a has lots of different sounds. So the third word in this phrase is fat. F A T means obese, big. You know, just a big bitch. Not much to say about that.、Uh, you can、uh, spell it as P H A T, but you know, it's a slang kind of slang word. Formal English spelling of fat would be F A T. So the fourth and final word in this phrase is bitch, and bitch can mean a lot of things. It can mean you're a wimp, or it can mean a female dog, or it can mean just an annoying woman. And、um, in this particular phrase, it's most likely referring to a woman. It's spelled B I T C H, and the phrase "you're a fat bitch" is. You know, it can mean a lot of things. It can be talking about a man, like you're a fat bitch, you're, you know, you're a fat pussy, or it can be a woman. You know, you're a fat woman, you're a fat bitch, like an obese woman. So it's pretty versatile. You can use it in a lot of situations, like I said.、Um, if you got a fat woman that's being annoying, maybe you're working in customer service and this woman wants、uh, more food for free and You're just like you're a fat bitch. No,、um, that could be one way to use it. Or if a fat guy is running a marathon, or doing jumping jacks, or skydiving, and he skins his leg, you know, falls down, scrapes his knee, and he starts crying, and you say, "Come on, get up! You're being a fat bitch. You know, you're a fat bitch. Get up." So that's another way to use it. Lots of different ways. You know, experiment, come up with different. Uses of the phrase.、Um, I think you'll have a good time with it. So thanks for joining me on this first video of learning English with Nefarious Nick. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something, and have a good day.